Hello, my name is Pablo Alano. We have Claudius Memba. He is a software engineer at the Microsoft Corporation out of Seattle. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, to start things off, hey tell me about yourself. Yeah, hey Pablo, good to see you again. Um, so yeah, I moved out to Seattle, came from OSU, uh, majored in computer science, played sports while I was there. Uh, moved out to Seattle in 2016 to work at Microsoft and have been a software engineer in, in Seattle for the last two plus years. Um, it's been exciting. It's been great. Love the work I'm doing. Love the opportunity to, to uh, make impact and, and do cool work. You actually were, if I'm not mistaken, a, a walk-on for the football team, correct? I was, yeah. yeah. So I, I joined the team right out of uh, high school. 2011 is when I joined the team. Um, when I played for, I was on the team for about uh, two and a half years. Uh, ended up leaving in 2013 due to injuries, but um, had a great time. It was a great challenge. Learned a lot about myself and about um, uh, just brotherhood in general and uh, have great memories and, and experiences from that. Uh, definitely made me a better person, I would say. Yeah, yeah, nothing better than competition. It's like a, it's eye opening <laughs> experience for sure, especially traveling with the team, etc. So, um, talking about Microsoft and software engineering, what made you unique for them? In your yeah, so uh, in my case, I wasn't um, the way I got to Microsoft was kind of an interesting path. Um, I was actually I hadn't reached out to the company. I was actually uh, recruited via LinkedIn. Um, a recruiter reached out to me, had seen my online profile regarding some of the dev stuff I do, um, some of the projects I have online, um, and she thought I'd be a good fit for an internship there. So she reached out to me, uh, pretty much said exactly that. I think you'd be a good fit for an internship. Uh, would you like to interview? And um, at the time, I had secured an IBM interview, um, but I figured why not check out Microsoft and, and see what that has to offer as well. So. Uh, I told her, sure, more than happy to come in and just see what that process is like and got to understand the interview process um, and in the end getting an offer and, and deciding to accept that instead. No, real cool. How do you think they found you? What are some online presences that you have? Um, for developers and, and anyone in the tech industry in general, GitHub is is a number one uh, place, but then also just your public profile in terms of like your own personal website, portfolio, um, you could also have, uh, I also have another uh, site for online challenges on, in terms of um, uh, dev work. Um, it's called, it used to be called Challenge Post, now I think it's called Dev Post, um, where I used to do and, and still do kind of online hackathons. And um, so I post projects there as well as on uh, my personal site. Yeah, really cool. And then on your personal site, ClaudiusMemo.com, I know we spoke uh, before about this, is how I have it. I think what I really like about it is that you also provide, especially for SEO purposes, um, where you're skilled at regarding your technical skills. Um, and I think that's yeah, yeah. a nice driver. As, as, as recruiters are, are searching online, OSU or, or different colleges, and then picking up Java, Ruby on Rails, et cetera, um, kind of separates yourself possibly within between competition. No, I, I completely agree. And it's kind of the, the same stuff you find there. Um, you can pretty much find on my resume. Um, I try to make sure that it's the same. Uh, there's a lot of consistency across the two. Um, so, yeah. So, um, I always get a lot of questions, uh, people always asking, you know, how do I get into Facebook? How do I get into Microsoft, et cetera? Um, since you're an expert in the Microsoft field, um, what, how should one prepare for the position? Yeah. In terms of, uh, one, I wouldn't qualify myself as an expert, but I, from my personal experience, I'll give you my personal experience in terms of preparation. Um, you definitely want to have the fundamentals down. I think Microsoft is similar to most big tech companies in that they, uh, all big tech companies do technical interviews and, and especially in the tech role. And essentially what that consists of is, um, you're getting grilled about the basic, uh, CS fundamentals, um, and having to do algorithm questions on a whiteboard. Um, so my biggest advice is to practice that, um, firsthand. Don't, uh, leave it to chance for the, for the time you're actually there. Like have some practice beforehand because it's not the same as sitting down on your computer and, and programming where you have all those tools accessible to you. Um, it's it's also even nerve wracking just to be up there and, and um, not know exactly what you're gonna write next. Um, sometimes uh, people freeze up in that moment. So my recommendation is always practice. And uh, when I was in college, I had a friend who, who was interviewing at the same time I was, and so we took the chance to practice together. And so I also recommend don't just practice alone, practice in the community, practice with friends. Um, I'm sure even your like your roommates would mind um, helping you do some practice. So uh, if if in 
when you get the chance, like find people to practice with and they will provide you good feedback and you will provide them good feedback. And it's a, it's a great learning process. Um, but it does, uh, and you can't really substitute that, that firsthand practice. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. So you had a lot of recruiters actually reaching out to you. Um, why Microsoft in your opinion? Um, Microsoft was, so I interviewed for Microsoft or I interned for Microsoft. I'm sorry. Um, I had the opportunity to enter for Microsoft and see the culture in the company firsthand. Um, this was in 2015. Um, as a result, uh, and I, I, when I was interning, I got to know a, a good amount of the community. I, I got the ability to net, I got the chance to network and, uh, go to, uh, cool intern events that they had put on. And I met a lot of great people as a result. And just from that experience, I really felt this was a company I could grow and learn at. And that's one of the biggest things I was looking for, something that I could come in and, and pick up the skills that I really wanted to pick up, which is really to understand how to build enterprise software and, and um, the full pipelines, full pipeline of, of, of um, real software engineering. Um, prior to that, I will tell you I was a hacker and I was a, I was a coder, but I wasn't a, a strong engineer. Um, I think I definitely developed those skills while at Microsoft and understand the, the, the process of, of um, from incubation and, and, and ideation of a software product to actual rolling out and, and production, uh, making it production ready in terms of the uh, in, ter- in dev terms, essentially. Um, so I was looking for a company that I could do that in, and, and I'm very happy with the, re- the choice I made. And, and um, having the ability to intern somewhere and test it out is a really um, is a blessing, to be honest. Like I, w- I was happy to be able to have done that because otherwise I would have just picked up the next um, uh, the next best thing, and, and I wasn't sure if that was right for me. So um, I always recommend to students who are who are young in their careers, like get out and intern. Unfortunately, I, I was again playing uh, sports, doing football um, for a better half of my uh, academic career, and so I didn't get the opportunity until very later. Um, I was able to finesse a internship here uh, again, pretty much like uh, my junior to senior year, and, and that was that made the world of difference to understand um, what a company is like before getting into it. No, 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 totally. Um, are there, what's the additional learning look like at Microsoft? Uh, so you mentioned, you know, I had the opportunity to do additional learning. So is it clearly just working within product teams and learning that way? Uh, clearly, but are there additional classes that are provided or? Yeah. So of course your day to day learning comes in, in, in working with the coworkers and, and solving tough challenges and, and wrapping your head around uh, the problems that you face. Uh, but there's Microsoft is a, again, vast community, a vast company. We recently just bought LinkedIn, and um, LinkedIn prior had bought a company called Lynda.com. Lynda.com is a great learning uh, tool for devs, um, as well as just um, we have access as a result to as a result of the company just being a great company and, and, and uh, having money. <laughs> we have access to a bunch of learning resources. So Microsoft Library has its own um, courses. We have our own internal courses, and Microsoft alone um, has I think probably at least three or four learning resources, everything from Channel 9 to Microsoft Virtual Academy. Uh, we partner with edX.org. Um, I think we have a partnership with Pluralsight as well. So if you name it, we have pretty much uh, in touch with any of the big like um, learning resources online. And so you get access to all of that pretty much as a result. And so there's tons of additional learning uh, on the dev side and the business side. Um, it just, it, it's, you got to go seek and find it, but it's there. No, I like it. Yeah. Always a, an opportunity to improve yourself for sure. Um, I've seen you on college campuses. Uh, mm-hmm. you, uh, not only are you just a software engineer, but you come back and you actually vet students. It sounds like, um, yeah. since you have a little bit of experience in that, uh, just curious to know, uh, what do you kind of look for within these kids or, um, what should they have? Yeah, yeah. So I love coming back to college campuses, OSU especially because that's close to my heart. That's home. Um, and I help recruiters do technical vetting, um, as well as I come back to help promote the diversity angle. Uh, tech in general is very, um, has very low percentage of, of African Americans in, in tech. And, and so I, I come to showcase that, um, to the students at OSU and, and the other colleges I visit that, um, they can do it too. And, and so, when I go there, um, essentially what we're looking for is the things I outlined earlier, how kind of the recruiters first found me. Um, I, I like to see students showcase their personal projects, um, first and foremost. Like I always recommend students, if they're not doing a personal project, 
get or start building something on the side. Um, because while you're doing your class projects, that's that's great and all. It's great to be taking those courses. It's great to be um, keeping up. Uh, that doesn't make you stand out. You're you're doing what everyone else is doing. So it's always um, it's always great to see students take that extra step and and do hackathons, do personal projects. Um, again, the keys that I always recommend are, are personal projects and hackathons. Hackathons contribute to your personal projects. And the other thing it showcases is that you have a passion for technology outside of school. Um, it, it's a really big, um, it's a small, it's a small thing, but it really goes a long way to, to, to know as a recruiter, to know that a student is going to put in the extra time that it takes to really, um, solve technical problems and, and, and has that passion because again, doing work for school's sake is great, but, um, we want to see that you will do it regardless of if there was school or not. No, 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 absolutely. Um, one of my favorite uh, things that you, you mentioned when I saw you at one of the career fairs was, um, no language outside of uh, what you're learning in school, uh, not only mm -hmm. projects, but also learning a different language. Um, and, and just kind of programming it, language. Yeah, another yeah. programming language specifically. Yeah, absolutely. Um, since you do meet with a lot of students, I'm sure on a co uh, consistent basis during those vetting processes, what are some uh, ways that um, some students should kind of reach out or, or maybe start the conversation, in your opinion, on the technical side? Yeah, so the best way I, I've the best way I could advise someone to to really kind of spark that conversation is um, if you again, if you have a personal project, and you're working on something, especially if it's something that you can showcase in a second, like if it's online, if it's a hardware, a huge hardware project, of course, that's a little harder to do. You can take photos and something. But um, if you have a personal project you're working on, bring it to the to the career fair and talk to the recruiters about that, because um, that's a really great way. One, it showcases your passion and it's something that you're passionate about. So you, you're easy. You have. Um, you're confident and easy to talk to when it's talk when you're talking about that. Um, as well as we see that passion in your eyes and we're like, all right, this is a person I want to like work with. They're 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 doing some really cool stuff and and it really helps to get that conversation going in the right direction because once you do that and the recruiters can actually see things, it's my I always say it's better to, to show than tell. Um, when the recruiters can actually see things, um, then they really believe you. Um, you can say whatever you want and we can we can take your word for it, but um, it's not until we see uh, live code or, or like live product that we can really believe you. But um, that's always my recommendation. Kids, I think sometimes shy away from bringing their laptops, but I'm always like, dude, if you have a web, if you have a website that you've been showing your projects on, like bring it out, show it to me. Um, I would love to see that kind of stuff because it, it gets me fired up to talk to you about stuff. And then uh, my hope is that it fires you up to talk to me about that. Yeah, you technically geek out for those five minutes and it, it becomes a last, exactly. it becomes uh, something, it becomes memorable. Mm -hmm. really separates yourself between competition. I like that. Um, that's really all the questions that I have. I think this was fantastic. Claudius, I thank you for your cool. time. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to do this again soon. Yeah, more than happy to. Love what you guys are doing. Keep it going. Absolutely. Thanks, man. Go Bucks. Yeah, absolutely. Cheers.